So now we're going to go into one player. Now, uh, before we do get started, um, for starters, timer doesn't uh, start until uh, the character I've selected finishes walking on screen. And the second part is just pretty much how we do the run for the game. So basically, when you pick your first character, it automatically select, it'll randomly determine which of these four care, three of the five characters that'll be selected for bosses. So uh, we're picking uh, Slash as our main character. He's going to be doing most of the work for this run. And we're also going to pick Wendy as our second character because selecting her eliminates her from the boss order, and her boss fight is pretty difficult to do. So in other words, uh, your character selection actually affects the routing pretty much for the game as well as the boss that you fight. So in other words, by this selection we fight Kazan first, then Hack, and then Lord J. So without further ado, let's get started. So we're going to skip the map scene that comes up. Uh, that's not the part we're going to be um, worrying about. And go. Ah, crud. Sorry about that. Dang it, what a bad time for my uh, timer not to work. Ah, snap. Come on, uh, live splits. Don't do this to me. Okay, there we go. Man, that is not the right way to start anything off. I'm always cursed with a stupid live split. It just, like, decides, oh, hey, we're not going to let you start your timer. <laughs> let me make sure everything's set before we do this again. My apologies, folks. Uh, I hate when that happens. Oh, my word. <laughs> not a way to get start to start anything off. But anyway, I don't have to repeat myself now, so we'll just go ahead and get started. Yeah, it better be a second time as a charm. Fortunately, I'm doing this on a keypad on my um, computer, so that doesn't help either. <laughs> but now we're off to the races, as they say. So we're going to be using uh, Slash's uh, dash attack a whole lot. Uh, we're not going to be using his chain attack a whole lot either. Yeah, unfortunately my uh, dash didn't want to go through here. Pick up this rock again. Save that for when we get up here. Dang it. Not a good way to start anything off. <laughs> oh well. As they say, anything bad can happen, will happen. Oh well, we can rebound. So as you can see, we can use this for uh, OTGs. We're going to be using that a whole lot. Dang it, I got shot the moment I landed. Unfortunately, the enemies get a lot of invincibility in this game. It's just not funny. But anyway, this is the first time we're introducing this run to um, uh, Retrothon. Well, aside from the mess up, hopefully we'll have a more better outing. And for some odd reason, my dash inputs are not working today. So yeah, technically we're trying not to do hyper throws a whole lot. Unfortunately, that just happens, unfortunately. <laughs> And I had, like, a pretty good practice session earlier. Fortunately, uh, I wasn't going to be uh, expecting a... So, yeah, my apologies. <laughs> so, everyone does have an OTG attack. I can get this one set up. There we go. So, basically, he just does that. So I just recently discovered I can uh, go to the bottom screen and use that pothole 
to basically use as an indicator when to jump. Okay, there we go. Technically, I wish there was uh, more chances of getting this underneath 2 minutes and 30 seconds, but we'll have to make do. So we're going to pick up this tur chicken strip. Strip right here for some extra health. Alright, there we go. Yeah, the maze is not very uh, interesting in the uh, international versions, but once you figure that one out, it becomes more easier to memorize. Unfortunately, these gummen didn't want to cooperate right there, which was pretty bad. These guys cooperated pretty nicely. But anyway, we're not even for world records today, so... A little safety net right there. So, unfortunately, I had to change up my um, strats pretty much for um, for this run because I've been having a whole lot, whole lot of problems with Flame Breath as of late, so... So basically, if we do grab enemies, we try to use the uh, low blow and knock them down. Ooh. out of that for some odd reason. Normally it's very hard to break out of throws in this game. Alright, not picture perfect, but I'll take it. Oh yeah, indeed. Alright, now we're hoping for a three cycle if we can get it. There we go. That's the first cycle. Shout out to the noble boy for discovering that strat. Why am I getting hit? There we go. Unfortunately, M. Bison doesn't do flame breath, unfortunately. Now, if we can get this right. Perfect! We got the three cycle. Hopefully, I won't have to use flame breath for the rest of the run now. Alright, despite some hiccups on stage one and not getting the timer to work, uh, we're finally on the roll. Alright, let's skip that. Yeah, hopefully on the next one with Final Fight 2 I won't have any problems with the timer. So anyway, we're going back to using Slash again. Uh, in Japan he's really known as Douglas Build, but uh, for some odd reason in this game and Rival Turf, they changed his and Norton's names considerably. Yeah, I thought I wasn't going to be using Flame Breath, but... The game had other plans. Wow, he didn't want to get up there. We don't want to be using the special whole lot because unfortunately when you do that, what it does is that you, you lose your energy. You do get it back though. Now we're safe on the bottom as long as we don't try to move up or anything. Wow, he just intercepted me there. We also do this too, because that helps. Dang it. All sorts of problems today. <laughs>
And then again, this is our Russian beat game. So we're coming up to the end of this part. I'm gonna try to knock these guys down. Whoa! I was trying to go for the OTG. That didn't work. Believe it or not, uh, Slash's OTG is actually pretty strong. Alright, I'm gonna stop that health gain right there. Because we are gonna take an intentional death in a bit. Meantime, we do want to burn up some of that health. But not enough to the point that um, we take an intentional death too early than planned. So we want to take an intentional death just before this left uh, comes to a complete stop. Best time to do that is pretty much when the next set of uh, enemies come out. So we're basically going to position ourselves right here and let the enemies come straight to us. Intentional death we planned. Yeah, I want to be very careful there. Yeah, these enemies can be pretty willy sometimes. <laughs> Alright, we do want to make sure we have uh, zero lives going into the next area. these guys out a bit. Okay. It's a lock game for not being very cooperative. Well, they're going to take some time to cover. So we'll get some damage on them. I didn't expect that one enemy to die that quick. Yeah, that basically almost does roughly the same amount of damage you would deal with a power bomb, pretty much. about the lead head for right now. Okay, that's good. We take an intentional game over, by the way. So we can switch to Kazan here. Takes care of the helicopter. Now we get to fight the clone of Hack. Now we take an intentional uh, game over there on purpose so we can switch Kazan because we're going to be using him to wipe out all the other bosses thanks to this coming trick. And then we just spam his special. Well, ninjas will always have to have something to attract less noise. <laughs> Guess sneakers kind of fit the rule. All right, so that takes care of hack in stage two. All right, <laughs> that takes care of stage two. We're gonna get hack back, and we're gonna be using him for the next part here because we're gonna be tossing some enemies off the roof. <laughs> Don't do this in real life. <laughs> Throw these punks out of here. Okay, that was 
was not supposed to happen. Okay. Technically, you're supposed to knock them into the pits. <laughs> okay, that's interesting. There we go. That's exactly what you want to do. Okay, he was supposed to be grabbed up front. Get out of here. Dang it, that leadhead grabbed me right off the gate. And of course, thanks to angry uh, mode, we can have... He can literally throw the enemies to the floor and throw them, like, further distance away. <laughs> we got that, uh, soldier to act up there. Ow, how dare he. Alright, we can finally start throwing some... Not very cooperative enemies into the pits. Okay, that zero is just not helping. We do need to pick up a little bit of health, though. Okay, that was just wrong. Now I grabbed him up front, so how the world did I do a suplex? Alright, so down he goes. building. Not gonna bother picking up any health items. Let's do this. And believe it or not, you can literally cancel your grab by doing a jump. That'll let you um, get right back up. It does give you a temporal invincibility when you do that. It's not recommended though. But it's a good way to cancel back throws, though. Wow, that uh, phantom didn't want to die there. <laughs> well, anyway, um, these phantoms are actually bought related to the bosses uh, from uh, the first game, the Slashers. So, believe it or not, in all three games, they make reappearances under different names. Let's throw them all out of there. I'm gonna take an intentional death. And we do need a weakened uh, hack up because we're gonna take a game over on the next screen. Oops, <laughs> didn't mean to pause there. Unfortunately, the weird problem is, is that when you try to hit start when you're uh, respawning your character, um, it does um, it does cause your uh, game to uh, freeze up when you hit pause, especially at the wrong time. All right, good work. All right, that's three right there. Man, my uh, double tap, double tap inputs don't want to go through today. All right, let's do this. All right. Yeah, I don't want to be uh, doing all those attacks. That butch just love some butches do love to do jump attacks and all sorts of crazy stuff.
Wow, that's a first. <laughs> Never seen a chain attack stop that. Alright, we got through that part. give a quick shout out to um, Barry KN9. He was the one to discover this uh, upcoming strat. So normally we would have to go through multiple floors, but um, thanks to him, we don't have to do that now. So basically we just go one floor down, we go the next two up, and then we go the next two down in that order. So this basically saves a ton of time and actually reduces the overall time to way more, less than it, it used to be. Of course, this uh, run used to be about at least 40 minutes uh, long for world record. And thanks to that strat, plus some of the stuff that Noble Boy and uh, Funk Doc discovered, uh, we now have, we can now literally reduce this down, time down to almost around 35 to 33 minutes. Of course, Noble Boy has the world record for this round, um, 33 minutes, I believe. use the special to weaken my character on purpose and that's to pretty much make sure that we um, get ourselves an intentional death. We do want to make it all the way to the end of um, stage three but we want to set up another uh, game over so we can um, switch to Kazan and take out Lord J. Now for the rest of the others we just go down two floors down. out of this uh, area pretty quickly. Now, for some odd reason, when you hold down the uh, buttons for the uh, elevator controls, you will lose energy. That actually does uh, work to your favor, since we're taking intentional deaths. Slider, stop doing that. Alright, we do want to get rid of some of these enemies here. Dang it. How did I get knocked out by this bush here? <laughs> about Kazan and Hack is that their uh, chain attacks are very consistent, so that helps us uh, take them down in multiple groups pretty faster. I mean, pretty much fast, but the uh, problem is, is that Kazan is not very strong. I mean, Kazan's strong attacks, as far as I know, is his special and his jump attack, but overall, outside of uh, angry mode hyper throw, uh, he doesn't really have very strong attacks. 
All right, Kazan takes out uh, Lord J clone. That takes care of all the clones. All right. So anyway, we're getting ready for uh, the Adler, the airship that we're going to be on for the next stage. And this is by far the roughest area in the entire game. All right, so um, right now we're going to be switching. Ah, oh, dang it, I didn't mean, I meant the dash and it just did not want to work today. As long as your uh, feet are right near the enemy's feet, you can like literally do that to them. Right, there we go. It gets around the fam. We do want to make sure we don't take an intentional death here. Because we do have a long ways to go, and we want to be uh, doing pretty darn well when we get to near the end of um, the stage. should have hit him. I don't know what happened there. <laughs> but that was pretty nasty there. I might be continuing whether I want to or not. So I'm gonna have to wait until he gets out. Yeah, a lot of these enemies do have like tons of health. I had to stand right there so I can um, not have to worry about uh, moving further. Alright, so we got a health first aid box coming up. We're gonna take that as we go. this next part. All of them have invincibility. That's when they start attacking. That's when they start doing that too. Alright, there we go. Ooh, 
Luckily, all the enemies that drop down from the ceiling actually have less health, but... Ooh. Alright, so far so good. Alright, we do have a health pickup, but this is not looking good, unfortunately. measure. Hopefully all of them came after me, but... Well, somehow I got through that part. <laughs> Don't know how, but I'll take it. Give me a chance to actually do anything there. Dropkicking Butcher. Yeah, this part right here is pretty nasty overall. Thankfully, that's the last of the enemies. But yeah, the next one's just about as rough. I wish I was a little bit more better with the special, but oh well, just gotta take what you get, right? Yeah, that machine's used to create all those clones there. Wow, I don't even know how I dodged that one there. <laughs> So shoulder chair charge for you. Now you can't break out of throw back throws, but I don't know what the actual proper button sequence for that would be. There we go. 
Oh yeah, we gotta take an intentional death coming up. Two of them, actually. There we go. Now we gotta make sure we uh, survive until it's time to take an intentional death. Now we take an intentional death. Fortunately, this is also going to be our last one, too, since we're out of continuous at this point. Yeah, that's a trick that uh, Funk Doc tried to use on the boss coming up. But basically, what you try to do is pin them to the wall, then use. Uh, because on slide, it doesn't do like a ton of damage, but it actually uh, lets you get like cheap damage as it progresses. Now all we have to do here is just use Kazan special until we drop his HP down. Time's gonna be after my character does his wind pose. All right, this might be a new PB. All right, thirty-five oh nine. Ooh, not bad. Actually, I got a new PB the other day, uh, two days ago, for uh, either thirty-five twelve or fourteen. But this is actually a way better improvement. <laughs> Oh, man. Again, my apologies for what happened at the start. I didn't realize my timer had not worked, and that was kind of my fault there. But anyway, thank you all for the GGs. Anyway, Final Fight 2 is coming up next. I'll be um, switching on over from the Nintendo Switch back to the Wii U for the uh, uh, to get to the Wii VC version of uh, Final Fight 2. So, um, and thank you for the congratulations as well. <laughs> Much appreciated. Let me see if I got the word. I'm not really sure if I'm giving the 